insist that health care is a human right and we should have everybody in and nobody out. We want to expand on the American program that's already working, expand and improve it. Medicare 2.0, everyone in, nobody out. Schumer has raised the possibility of lowering the age for entry to Medicare, and we want that age lowered to the instant of birth. We need cradle to grave coverage yes. for everyone. It's the only way that we can have what you need when you needed health care for every American. There is no other way. It's the highest value health care for dollar, and we need value here. We don't need for profit health insurance companies providing low added value to our system while siphoning off money into profits, corporate salaries, dividends, and so on. And so we are here to stand up for Medicare for all and to pressure Schumer to do what's right and move that cause forward. I don't want to see any more people who I have to take care of who have bleeding in their brain because they can't afford taking care of their high blood pressure. This is a reality and people are dying and it shouldn't happen here in America. We can do better. Yeah. Yeah. Medicare for all. <laughs> Any questions? Any questions? <laughs> what do you think about uh, the uh, Medicare that Schumer proposes versus the Medicare that uh, Kanye proposes? He's asking me to compare and contrast Schumer proposed Medicare with Conyers proposed Medicare. And the thing is, is that what's been proposed, the currently proposed Medicare expansion, is really a little bit of a black box, so we don't know what's in it. And as always, the devil is in the details, so we want to try to keep the angel in the details. So I don't know. Nobody knows. But the idea of an all-inclusive entitlement plan where we don't chop up Americans by location, ethnicity, income, and give them different sorts of care is the right idea. And we need to expand on the all-inclusive entitlement program with automatic enrollment paid for with progressive taxes as the way to cover everyone in this country. Yep. <laughs> what do you see happening if Congress does pass a sort of half-assed reform bill with or without an administrative public option, with or without a few reforms around the margins like you know, no more exclusions. Um, how bad is that going to set us back? What do you, what do you, what do you see going back into the group of single payer? Well, I've seen a graph where the average premium for a family will exceed the total income of that family, I think, in 2025. Uh, so the, the coins will hit the fan. Uh, so I don't think that uh, there... The, the need will not go away. Uh, the movement is alive. It will only, uh, it will hopefully draw more people to it as other methods, uh, other approaches fail to bring everybody in to provide everybody health care and continues to promote low value systems where we're blowing money into the wind for nothing. Medicare for all. Medicare for all. Medicare for all. Medicare for all. Fifty-five is not enough. Medicare for all. Fifty-five is not enough. Medicare for all. Fifty-five is not enough. Medicare.